I am a transgender, disabled, Persian Gulf War veteran. I retired after 20 years of service in 2000. In the last year of military service, I was sexually harassed and actually had a don't ask, don't tell story. My executive officer at the time tried to get around the rules. He wasn't allowed to ask me, are you gay? So what he asked me instead was, was there anything you'd like to tell us about yourself with the specific intent of having me admitting I was gay? Just this year in April, I, um, I joined Jan, or, uh, Dan Choi and four others um, in handcuffing myself to the White House fence over repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. When I transitioned from male to female, in the old days... You would transition, and you were supposed to forget your entire life and move to a new city and never mention you were transgender, ever. And it's like, I can't do that. About 50, so it would fit on my shoulders a little bit. It would droop down some. But it would be... Well, same with the pants. It's like I've lost about 50 pounds since I've worn these last. So it is kind of funny that um, I can't wear these anymore. Since I served in the military for 20 years as a male, I did not want at my funeral to be to have to say I was in the military for 20 years and then somebody pull out a boot camp picture of me where I was presenting as male. As a retiree, I was allowed to go on the base. I went to the uniform shop and bought an entire female uniform. And what I did was I then went to a photography shop took the photos and the actual standard photos of me with a flag in the background and everything. And because my military history is such a big deal to me, you know, and I want that to be mentioned as part of my funeral, I, you know, would also like to be buried in a, 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 a military veteran's um, gravesite. It's very important to me to acknowledge that history, to honor it, and to do it in a way that says, and by the way, she was a transgender veteran, and she served 20 years as a male, but she you know, wants to honor her history as a woman after her military service.